everybody, it's Julie. Welcome back to my channel. I am really excited to be bringing you yet another readathon. This is my second readathon for the month of November, and I'm intimidated by it. I'm scared, but I feel like I have a very good support system. I'm in a reading group on Goodreads. I'll link that down below if you're interested in joining us. But this is the Tome Topple Readathon. So essentially, any book that is over 500 pages. And the goal is to start, finish, or continue any book that is over 500 pages. Tome Topple is from November 18th to December 1st. Obviously, it's longer than a week-long reading challenge because it is huge books. Like, we're talking behemoth books. So they're giving us a little bit of extra time, which is awesome. And I'm really, really looking forward to starting some of these books. So this is my TBR for the Tome Topple and we're gonna see how it goes. I have five books over 500 pages. Will I be reading all of them? No, I will not. Tome Topple is not a have to start and have to finish challenge. It is really just to get people starting books that are more intimidating, that are over 500 pages, just to get them pushing through those longer books that can sometimes sit there and wait because it's not a very impressive TBR if you've only read like one 500 page book for the month. But those books deserve to be read too. So it's a very cool readathon. I'm excited to be a part of it. Let's just jump into my books. The first one is a very beat up, like, oh God, the cover is breaking off of this. I have not treated this well, guys. I have not treated this well at all, which is a sin because I do like these books and it's sans dust jacket because moving and I don't know where it went. But this is A Dance with Dragons. This is a George R. R. Martin Song of Ice and Fire book. I started this forever ago and I never finished it. And it is like killing some of my friends that I haven't finished it. I'm currently on page 876. So I think that counts for Tome Topple. I'm on page 876 and this book goes until page 959. So I have less than 100 pages left of this to finish. And it's been on my shelf unfinished for over a year. I feel like I got to like one of the last main plot points of this book and I just lost interest and I just cannot force myself to pick it up and finish it. But I feel like this would be a really simple addition to the Tome Topple and I can finish it off less than 100 pages, soldier through it, and then at least be able to say that I've completed this series, at least all the ones that are published because who knows with George R.R. R. Martin, but this will be the first thing that I tackle and I know that I can finish that without any problem. We're gonna get that one out of the way. The first thing that I got was Illuminae. This is by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. I've heard a lot about this and honestly never felt compelled to pick it up because it is a sci-fi alien-ish based and it held no appeal for me because it's just not my genre. And it is a mixed medium book. So you've got some pages in here that are like emails. You've got some pages in here that look like they're IM exchanges. You've got pages in here that are on black paper, white paper. So it looks like it's gonna be a pretty quick read, but this is 590 some 600 pages. This is one that I feel like I could probably get through during the Tome Topple readathon but I just don't know if it's gonna be my favorite. The other one that I got from the library is The Diviners, and this is by Libba Bray. So this is about Evie. Evie gets sent to live with her uncle. Her uncle is strangely obsessed with the occult. Somebody goes missing or is murdered, and then she just kind of is brought into this world of the occult. I don't know a ton, a ton about this, but I feel like that might be the way to go into it. Like, I don't want to spoil anything. I've seen a lot of people hold this up in their booktube videos, but I really haven't heard, like, individual reviews or too much, like, in-depth thought about this. And I think that might just be how I want to go into it. And this one is over 570 pages, because I flipped kind of towards the end. So this definitely counts. This is a big old honkin' book. I feel like that is a topic, though, that could interest me. So I feel like that might be like a more motivated read. The next two books are books that are actually on my bookshelf that I own. And I don't know how motivated I am to read either of them. So out of all of them, the three that I just showed you are like the top of my TBR. And then these are definitely questionable. The first one that I'll show you is Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. And I'm aware that this is like a revered book to book. People either love it or they hate it and people either like love love it or really hate it because apparently it has 
like abusive relationship, controlling relationship issues. I think most people justify that as like a woman going back in time, because it is a time travel book, a woman going back in time and just men in Highland, Scotland, not really understanding much about women's rights. But I did read The Discovery of Witches, but that was another time travel -y book where you kind of had like a roguish guy and it didn't bother me. I still enjoyed it. So I feel like I could still enjoy this one, but it is intimidating just for like the sheer size and length of it. It's over 600 pages and it's not like a mixed medium where, I mean, it's, it's lengthy. I'm gonna read it eventually. I feel like this might be a good time to really start it, but I know I'm not gonna get all the way through that. And then the last book of my TBR is the one that I'm probably dreading the most, which is ridiculous because I bought it. <sighs> I don't know. The Luminaries. The last time that I hauled this, when I hauled this, I said the Lumineers. They're not a musical group. This is the Luminaries. It's a book and it's by Eleanor Catton. And this is set in 1866 in New Zealand's Gold Rush, which immediately reminded me of Walk the Earth a Stranger. But this one is apparently about like I think well, a wealthy man has vanished, a prostitute has tried to end her life, and an enormous cache of gold has been discovered in the home of a drunk. And this somehow follows the zodiac signs. It's a ghost story, apparently, and it has over 830 pages, but apparently it's still like a breezy read. It's categorized on the back in a blurb. So I'm not sure how breezy that is. I am intrigued by the Zodiac in general, and I wasn't as aware that this had like mystical-ish like qualities. I thought it was just like a straight up historical fiction. So we will see. Banking and shipping and gold rush is not that exciting to me. But I think I'm gonna read Illuminae after I finish A Dance with Dragons and do that order. And then the three of these are kind of up in the air. I don't know which one of these I'm going to read first. But I can tell you right now, I'm not going to read all five of these during the Tome Topple because I also have a lofty um, November TBR in general, which I'll link up above if you haven't seen it yet. And I'm just coming off of another readathon, the Borrowathon. I will again, I'll link the wrap up for that up top. If you are interested in joining, I'm going to link the Goodreads group down below. They have a great thread that gives you a ton of suggestions for books that are over 500 pages that you can read. They're also going to have individual threads for the most popular books so that people that are going to be reading those books for the Tome Topple can follow and support one another. And then they're going to be developing individual hashtags for Twitter for the different books that people are reading, the more popular ones. So if you're interested, it's very organized and there's plenty of like opportunities for mutual bookish support to try to like, you know, cheer people through reading these larger books. And I'm for one, just very excited to be done with A Dance with Dragons and then to try to read some of these other books because they have been on my TBR and kind of like on my radar. So it's time to get into some of these big books and I'm not sure how all of this plays into the rest of my November TBR. I guess we're just gonna have to wait till the end of the month and see how this all wraps up because I'll have a wrap up for this readathon and a wrap up for the month going up right around the same time. So you guys are gonna be overwhelmed with my reading goal recap. But if you're interested in following me on Goodreads or following me in general on Twitter as I go through this readathon, I would love that. If you're going to be partaking in the readathon and you have a TBR up, anything regarding the Tome Topple, be sure to comment down below and link me to your video so I can check it out and see what you're going to be reading. And if you have any thoughts on any of these books or which one I should read for First, definitely let me know. But for now, I can like solidly say I'm going to read A Dance with Dragons and Illuminae first. All right, guys, if you liked this video, be sure to give me a big old thumbs up and click subscribe. And I will see all of you in my next video. Mm -hmm.